Assalamu alaikum. Brother, a non Muslim sister, she doesn't want to be identified. She says, What is the concept between the similarities in worship between Hindus and Muslims alike? Like shaving their heads like the Hindus do in Tirupati and the Muslims do during Hajj. And the Hindus circumambulate the temple and the Muslims do during the Tawaf. This is a very good question. What are the similarities between worship in Islam and Hinduism? And she gave an example that when they go for pilgrimage, they shave the head. Muslims also, when we go for Hajj and Umrah, we shave the head. They circumambulate and we circumambulate. All similar. There are many similarities in worship as far as the shaving the head is concerned. The reason we Muslims, when we go for Hajj, we have to shave our head is for humility. For humility. That we are humble before our Creator Almighty God. And normally, you know, hair is a form, you know, for style. Therefore, you find that many men and women, they go to have hairstyles, you know, different, different hairstyles they have. So when we shave, we are just showing humility that our humbleness is due to Almighty God only. In Hinduism also, they have a similar concept of shaving for humility. It is matching. Regarding circumambulation, the reason we circumambulate people object that if Islam is against idol worship, then why do you circumambulate on the Kaaba? Why do you bow down to the Kaaba? Don't you worship the Kaaba? And the Hindus, they circumambulate and when they worship. The difference between the Hindu circumambulation and Muslim circumambulation is a difference of chalk and cheese. We bow down to the Kaaba in a Salah. It is as a sign of direction. It's a Qibla. Kaaba is a Qibla. If we offer Salah, we have to offer in the same direction. Today, if you want to offer Salah here, some will say let's pay north, some will say south, some will say east, some will say west. So for unity, all the Muslims face towards the Kaaba. So those living in the west, they face towards the east. Those in the east face the west. Those in north face the south. Those in south face the north. And if you analyze Kaaba, the world map, the first person to do the world map was al Idrusi in 1154. When the Muslim drew the world map, North Pole was down and South Pole was on top and Kaaba was in the center. Later on, the western cartographers came. They turned the map upside down, North Pole top, South Pole down, but yet Kaaba is in the center. The reason we circumambulate around the Kaaba is because Allah has told us, Prophet has told us we do it. My logical reason I can think is because every circle has got one center. When we circumambulate around the Kaaba, we are testifying that there is only one Almighty God. But if you circumambulate around the Kaaba and believe many gods, they're not doing wrong. And regarding worship, the statement of Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, which is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of Hajj. He said that I am kissing this black stone. This black stone can neither benefit me, can neither harm me. I am kissing it just because my Prophet kissed it. This statement of Hazrat Umar is sufficient to testify that no Muslim worships the Kaaba. And furthermore, my argument is, during the time of the Prophet, there were Sahabas who stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan. No idol worshipper will ever stand on the idol he or she worships. So this proves that we Muslims don't worship the Kaaba. It is only a symbol. It is only a Qibla. And regarding other similarities, sister, there are other similarities. There are various other forms of worship in Hinduism. One form of worship is known as Shashtang. Shashtang from Kamsha, Asht means art, and Ang means part of the body. Eight part of the body. One type of worship in Hinduism is eight part of the body. Touching eight part of the body. The best way you can do is like we Muslims do the sujood in Salah. Touching our forehead, our nose, our two hands, two knees and two feet, shashtang, eight parts of the body. Forehead, nose, two hands, two knees and two feet. And sujood is the best part of the salah. It is mentioned in several places in the Quran. And furthermore, regarding Makkah, the mention of Makkah is even in the Hindu scriptures. The word mentioned for Makkah in Hinduism is Elai Spad. Ila, as I said, is God, and Spad means place. So Elai Spad is one of the places of Tirtha place of pilgrimage, which is mentioned in Rig Ved, book number three, hymn number 29, verse number four, Elias Pad. In the Sanskrit dictionary, Elias Pad is place of God, house of God. It's a place of Tirtha, place of pilgrimage. Same thing as mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter three, verse 96. The first place for worship was Bakka, with another name for Makkah. So Makkah is even mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. And it says that this Elias Pad will be in the Naba Prathvi, 
means the center of the earth. As I told you, Kaaba is in the center of the earth. And furthermore, the few verses later, Rig Veda, book number three, hymn number 29, verse number 11 says, it talks about Narashangsa, the prophet who is called the praiseworthy. So because this prophet is also mentioned along with Elias Pad, it's very clear cut that one of the places that the Hindus should go for pilgrimage is the Makkah. Hope that answers the question.